Hello friends and welcome back to my crafty space. My name is Crystal and in today's video we are going to be doing an unboxing and project planning process using the newest FeedureCraft release. So let me just clear this to the side and let's jump right in. So this month we just have one kit that is releasing. There are not any add-on stamps this week or this month but the kit is super fun. It's called Embrace the Mess and has a like household cleaning chores kind of theme to it. So the kit this time comes with a set of four by six and three by four cards. Let's go through the four by six first. So we have this one that says morning, noon, and night. So this could be really fun to document. You could document either like a just a day, like what you do in the morning, what you do in the, in the afternoon, and what you do at night. Or if you're doing this from a chores perspective, you could totally take a picture or jot down a list of the chores that you do at the different parts of the day. That's kind of fun. I might actually do that with that one. This one is a circle. It's like half circles that make up circles pattern. So that one is a really fun background or um, filler card. Same here. This is just like a real kind of retro looking circle pattern that has the diamonds in between. I really like that one. This one reminds me of like bathroom tiles. So that's that's kind of fun. I That gives me an idea for that one too. This one says Monday through Sunday, just over and over again. Uh, as you guys know, I love using these cards for my title cards in Project Life. So that is definitely where that one is going to go. We have another um, kind of retro looking pattern here. Um, and a last one that is a 30 day challenge card. I super love this. So your start date, your finish date, some of the details or a picture, and then a place to mark off the days of the week. So really, really fun. For the um, three by four cards, we've got this one that says running, 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 running. So this could be like running errands, or it could be like actually running and exercising. That's kind of cool too. This one says, I just cleaned that and holy cow, am I definitely going to use this? Because if you're like me and you have little kids, they literally make a mess of everything you clean it the second it's clean. That's just, that is life. This one is a star pattern with a little uh, tag in the middle or label in the middle. This is also a great card to use as like a date, you know, to put your dates in or to use it as a title card on a project. I like that. This one says, hello weekend with space for journaling or photo, not enough hours in the day. How many times do you guys say that? I say that a million times a day. Uh, need to do these today, chores. So this is a great place to record different types of chores that you do uh, this week, so Sunday through Saturday. Um, that's fun too, ready to take charge. Five more minutes, not gonna happen. Just this little checklist right here. Made the effort, work errands, chores, me time. Yes. <laughs> and then um, another like tile looking pattern. That one's fun too. Time to get busy. So some really, really um, awesome sentiments on here. And I, I like the design elements with all of these cards as well. For the stamp set, uh, this one has like house home, work, and chores. So you could say like housework or homework or house chores. Um, we've got today looked like this, a little banner. All of these little uh, I like icons, we've got a clock and a calendar, a washing machine, a bottle of like spray cleaner, vacuum cleaner, these bubbles, and a garbage can, and then a bunch of different sentiments, like all day, every day. This is my crazy, messy, ordinary, beautiful life. Is it Monday already? My least favorite time of all. These days are filled with. Here's the plan. Done. Embrace the mess. Hello weekend. Time to rest. What day is it? So busy. And the days are all a blur. So really, I like that too. I like that too. Okay, so that's that. And then last but not least, we have our ephemera pack. So in the ephemera pack, I kind of went through and divided it into the different types. So we've got a bunch of vellum. Uh, so it's a mix of vellum and cardstock ephemera pieces. So these are vellum titles and they say things like, where did the weekend go? Typical routine, the chores can wait, starting a new habit, uh, fresh sheets are the best, back to work, time to DIY, running all the errands. Then there are also these three vellum icons. So we've got like, that to me is kind of like a bleach bottle. 
um, our cleaner bottle and a water bottle. Interesting that they're all bottles. I never even thought about that. Um, we've and then the last vellum thing we've got are these bubbles and like like sparkly clean um, stars, you know. So like when something's really squeaky clean. So lots of little like bubbles in here, which I have an idea for this as well. Then for our card stock, we've got some phrases like I'm not cleaning that. Time flies when you're procrastinating. It's a sweatpants kind of day. I'm closer than I was yesterday, and this is my least favorite. And some cardstock one inch circle pieces like time to start again, clean space, happy face, uh, like a cleaning bottle, today's to do's, pardon my mess. Oh, there's two of those. Um, and that is that. So, again, this kit was called Bless the Mess, and um, I think I'm going to have a lot of fun trying to think of some different stories to document using this. So what I'm going to do is um, bring over my sketch pad here and we're just going to lay everything out and go through a process. My goal is to come up with two to three stories and then a packet of materials that I can use for a week of project life. So let's uh, get everything set aside and see what we can come up with. Okay, so to get this planning process started, the first thing I'm gonna do is grab out my sketchbook here, which is just a regular old sketchbook. I got it off of Amazon, and I will definitely link it down in the description box for you guys, but it's basically like a little bit more than a five by seven. And then I also grabbed out a bunch of envelopes that I have from various sources. Some of them are from Allie Edwards, some are from scrapbook.com, some are just like glassine bags. And I also always use just a regular little pad of sticky notes in order to decipher which which story is which or to make note of it when I put all the supplies together. Once I had that done, I started going through the cards here. So I automatically pulled out the tile looking um, patterned four by six card, the one with orange, and those bubble shapes because that immediately made me think of bath time. So I want to figure out a spread where I can talk about bath time with my kids and use up those supplies. Then I also took out the 30 day challenge and the card that says made the effort. I felt like those went together really nicely and could tell the story of challenging myself to do something over the next 30 days. Uh, some of the other stories I've got out here, I super loved that morning, noon, and night journaling card. I also added the star little um, like label card to that one and time to get busy. I thought that would be a good place to document our chores that we do during the week. I grabbed out that running, 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 and I just cleaned that and the little circle pattern card feeling like that could be a good combination for telling the story about my children making a mess of everything as soon as I clean it. And the running, 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 running card to me just made me think of like running around after them, constantly cleaning up after them. <laughs> so that's the running sentiment. Um, however, if you are using the 30 day challenge and you're, and you are maybe looking to start a new exercise habit or something like that, you could totally use the running card for that one or, you know, keep it with the made the effort. And then I also went ahead and added the other tile card with the made the effort and, um, 30 day challenge card. So that's pretty much it. Um, oh, and you know what? The one with the little three check marks, one says five more minutes. And that's something that my kids say all the time when they're taking a bath. So that one went there. Once I had all the cards sectioned out, everything else that I didn't use for these stories goes into a pile for project life. Then I started going through the ephemera bits. So I really really liked the um, cleaning bottles for the cleaning story and the water bottle gave me an idea to use the 30 day challenge as a water challenge like a water drinking challenge so I added that one to the 30 day challenge there were three Actually, there were four of the circles that had a sentiment in the middle. One of them said like clean space, happy face, and that one just went really well with the cleaning page. All the other ones seemed to go pretty nice with the I just cleaned that theme. So I added those into that pile and I will figure out how to use those here as we start sketching. 
Other than that, I just took the rest of the embellishments, added what seemed to make sense to me to the piles around, and then everything else got put in that Project Life pile. So now that I have everything pretty sectioned off, I'm going to start sketching out my different ideas. So the first one is going to be this just cleaned that spread. Uh, I will kind of set everything to the side and pull everything out just so I can see how it all works together. I know I want this to go into my story album, which is a six by eight album. Um, and then I was trying to play with like what to do with the three little uh, circles right there. I'm kind of... Uh, having trouble deciding how to use those on this page, but I do eventually come up with an idea. So I start the sketch with with what I knew I wanted to do, which was a six by eight or really a 6.875 by 8.25, you know, the outside the pocket page, um, page protector size canvas. I want my photo to be full, a full page photo outside of the pocket. Um, although I may just make it six by eight, we'll see. But I wanna cut out that quote and adhere it directly onto the photo. And then I have another piece that says, I'm not cleaning that and I wanna add that as like a cluster on that photo. Then the circle pattern is going to go on the bottom for sure. Uh, but I'm still trying to figure out how to incorporate those circles because I want to use them. I just don't really know how. It wasn't until I put them on the circle card that I was like, wait, they might fit across the top of a three by four card. And then I could use that as a space to add journaling. So what I'm going to do is um, use the patterned card on a bottom of a pocket page protector and then add some pictures or some journaling or something on top of it because it definitely needs something else on top of it other than just the circle. So I will figure that out likely as I'm actually putting this spread together later on in the month. So in addition to the uh, patterned area on the bottom there, I'm going to go ahead and create a journaling card on the top left corner using the three circles. And I think I'm just going to sew them right on. So I just made like a stitch looking line to remind myself of that. And then I will just add in the running, running, running card as filler and call that good. So now that I have this one pretty much figured out, I'm going to go ahead and grab a envelope to put it in and I will make a note of the title on the sticky note to add on top of the um, pocket there. I did also on the sketch at the bottom I just drew like a little star and wrote down my concept idea for what this spread will be about and I I put water challenge on it or 30 day challenge on it um, so I could remember not water challenge I put um, kids mess cleaning the kids mess that's what I put on the bottom of that page. So now we're going to start working on the water challenge or the 30 day challenge. So this one, again, I'm just going to pull all those cards out, put them here in front of me so I can see what they look like, how they work together and uh, start sketching. So this one, I'm just going to do one six by eight page with the uh, page protectors, the pocket pages there. I'm going to add that made the effort at the top, use the vellum piece. Oh, I don't remember what that says. Um, but something that related and then I'm going to use the um, tiles there with the circle embellishment with the water bottle in it to signify that this was a water challenge and I will be able to use the card itself at the bottom to put check marks in marking off that I did the challenge for that day and then I can add some photos or a like smaller photo and a little bit of journaling in the details section. So that one's going to be pretty quick and easy. It's just a matter of actually doing the challenge in order to be able to record it. So I will probably keep some kind of calendar with me um, as I'm doing this and mark it off in my calendar. And then when I go to actually document it, I can mark it off on the card at that time. So pretty easy. So I'm gonna go ahead, throw this one in an envelope as well, and then we'll move on to the next story, which I think is going to be the um, chores. So for the next story that I'm telling, I was inspired uh, as I was unboxing this by that morning, noon, and night card. So I want to use the card as a place to add journaling or basically a list of what we do each of those times of the day around the house. Uh, we have, you know, I have little kids and we're home all day, so we have to do some things throughout the day in order to keep the house somewhat picked up. 
Um, and so we have pretty much a routine that we follow most days of the week. And that's what I'm going to record here. I will add the star one at the top just as a place to add some kind of title. And then I wasn't sure if I really liked the time to get busy card there or not. Plus, I really liked the small embellishment that said clean space, happy face. So what I'm going to do um, up, up in that three by four space is to create some kind of repeat stamp background using the Embrace the Mess stamp set. Um, there are a few stamps that I super like. They're the icons. One of them is a squirt bottle and one of them is a um, washing machine. Uh, so I'm just thinking about using those as a stamp on the background part. Then for the rest of the spread, I want to use a two by two pocket page and use each column to represent the times of the day. So I would do the first column will be the morning chores, the second column, the afternoon, and the third column will be the evening. So I just need to go through my pictures that I've got probably from back when we did week in the life because I have a lot of pictures of just housework from that time period. Uh, I pull a bunch of those out and document what we do during those times of the day. And then the two little vellum circles I'm, I added into the pocket too. I did notate like an idea of where I could put them, but I'll figure that out in more detail and, you know, um, later. I'll just figure it out later when I do this spread. So now we're moving on to the last idea I have for this kit. So this is the one that came to my brain first when I first opened up and took a look through the product for this month. Um, I knew, I just knew I wanted to use those bubbles to create a bathtub type project. And you guys know that when I get the chance, I love to try and add some cut files into my story album documenting. So for this one, I want to find a bathtub PNG that I can turn into a cut file in silhouette and use that as a pocket of sorts. So to add my photos behind the bathtub and I want a photo of each kid where they are in the bathtub. So it almost looks like they're in the bathtub cut file. And then behind the two photos, I can tuck in some journaling using that little card as maybe a backing piece of sorts, um, and then add the bubbles around and you know a stamp. I have the, I think it says, um, today looked like this stamp up in the corner that I will likely add digitally in order to make it big enough to go on there, but that is from the Embrace the Mess stamp set. And then where you see the line signifying the floor to the wall, I want to use that orange uh, tile looking pattern as the floor and then have the background just be white. So I'm just putting on here some of those bubbles and the shiny marks to remember that I want to add those onto this page as decoration and then um, just adding a few extra notes on like the colors and the patterns that I want to use and what the story is going to be about. So we're going to go ahead and make a note of that, add all of this product into an envelope and label it with a sticky note as well. So then that is going to complete all of the stories that I pulled out of this kit. Everything else you see up there in the upper right hand corner is going to go into another uh, envelope and that will be labeled for Project Life. Also, I will say when I do my project planning, I like to put an actual week number to my product. So I will go to my computer, see what week that this would make sense for, for me to document using this product. And then when I go to take my pictures and do my documenting, I know, you know, oh, this week I want to use that Embrace the Mess kit. So let's try and focus on chores and just the mundane things that we're doing around the house. So then I will go and figure out, I believe I'm going to do this for week 34. Um, I might actually switch it up and do it for week 33. We'll see. Either way, uh, it just helps me to remember what I'm doing for that week. So there we go. This project planning process is now done. All right, you guys, there we go. That is my project planning for today. And, you know, I actually figured out four different stories that I could tell in addition to Project Life. So we have the I Just Cleaned That spread. That's going to be a fun one to tell. Uh, made the Effort, which is a good excuse to do a 30-day water drinking challenge because I do not drink enough water, you guys. So that's going to be good. Um, 
a spread all about the chores that we do throughout the day and a spread about bath time for the kids. I also think that this is going to be really fun. This may actually be the spread that I work on first. I haven't totally decided yet. Um, and then I just have the Project Life remaining bits and pieces. So what I'm gonna do now is figure out which spread I want to actually put together for you guys today. That will be in a separate video. I will link that one uh, up at the eye for you in case you want to go check that one out. And um, yeah, I'm super excited to get these stories told this month. I hope that you guys enjoyed this planning process. And don't forget, if you are interested in this kit, to run, not walk, over to the Feed Your Craft shop. Uh, these items are live and they tend to sell out really, really, really quickly. Um, so I always recommend heading over there and snagging what you can um, as you know if you know if you know that you want it if you if you don't it's no big deal and there are always digital options as well if you've never purchased from Feed Your Craft before when you purchase the physical kits you do also get the digital kits but the digitals are offered as their own separate entity as well so there is that. All right, you guys, I will see you in just a little bit to go ahead and put together a spread from this kit. Until then, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will catch you in the next video. Bye now.